Delta Chi. I am a classical high school student going into the 10th grade. I'm 15 years old and I'm a co-founder of the youth-led organization Gen Z Who Want to Live as well as a willing mom. As a biracial youth, I am proud of both my identities. I am proud of my African and Caribbean roots as well as my Italian roots. The thing about this story is that my appreciation of who I am, as I've been a problem for the state my entire life, has always been tested. My awareness and confidence in my identity were challenged often while attending public public schools. I struggled with internalized racism, such as trying to conform myself to be the so-called normal. I had trained my hair for years, and I would brush my curls hoping it would stay sleek and straight because that's the representation I saw of beauty and power from TV to magazines to even other students as a child. I often wondered why, when I was being taught these, things, these incredible things about black history at home, which many are not lucky enough to have, why was I only taught in history classes about being a slave? Why was I only taught that as black people we were nothing but the oppressed? The expansion of black positive history in my classes has never surpassed Martin Luther King Jr. Being biracial in this world and our school system has its hardships. You lose a sense of identity as well as try to conform yourself to the black and white box that white supremacy has placed us in since the 1700s and has been modernized. Luckily, I've had amazing figures in my home life educating me on the importance of applied knowledge. Many don't have that and their only way to learn about these things is in our schools. Our schools do absolutely nothing for the necessary awareness we must have about black history and the amazing accomplishments we as black people have had. The moment that the world is in, it's time for reflection and change. We must demand a conscious effort and awareness of our surroundings, from school systems, to our police, to our government. Without collectivism, we will not achieve the liberation we so desperately need in this country. My role as a youth activist is to be the blueprint for those after me, whether that's referring to those younger than me or for the future families of our youth today. My responsibility is to encourage new generations and our youth to use their voice, speak out when they see injustice in any form, to educate each other, and to have these conversations within their homes, communities, and friend groups. Fighting for black lives is one of the many social justice issues we need to combat. We will fight for black lives, women's rights, reproductive justice, the LGBTQ plus community, the school curriculum change we require, amongst many other issues we face in our nation. My biggest accomplishment is exactly what I'm doing at this moment, leading a protest, co-founding a youth-led organization, and yesterday leading a breakdown of white supremacy workshop. And using my voice right now is also me combating every boundary and obstacle that has been set up for me since before birth. I am proud to be a leader and to be a blueprint to create more leaders. My biggest accomplishment is throwing away the concept of marginalization and using my power. We as youth will use the power that will go into the future generation play as a movement. We will continue to make noise and work undeniably hard until we are heard and taken account for. Our age does not determine our work ethic, intelligence, or capabilities. We will never stop and hope everyone joins to keep the movement alive outside of being a trend.